I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do today. Again, we are focusing uh, on costumes. I'm going to go to that for a second. So what I did is I took the character that we kind of brainstormed last time, the like surfer guy, and I did a full body sketch, kind of like a clean sketch of what I think he's going to look like. And what I'm going to focus on today is a costume for him. So he's like a surfer guy. So I want it to be a combination of like a wetsuit to get that surfer element in there. And then also a space suit. Cause he surfs on like, like solar plasma and stuff like that. Um, that's how he interacts with Marvin out in space. So I thought I would combine those two things. So what I'm looking for is I'm gonna end up doing research. So remember what, when last week we were talking about Marvin and Marvin, I'm gonna do a quick sketch over here. So Marvin has this huge helmet, right? With that like bush thing on the top that goes out like this, skinny body, and then this like skirt thing with in segments. The reason he has that is because uh, Chuck probably researched Roman centurion armor. And the reason he did that is because Marvin is from Mars. And then uh, Mars is also the name for the Roman God of war. So he looked up what like Roman warriors would wear and kind of made like a cartoony version of that helmet and of that uniform. And that's how he came up with Marvin's costume. So he came from research. So costume design is the same as everything else it comes back to what it, the character is all about. So this guy is about um, surfing combined with space. So I'm gonna try to come up with something that is a combination of those two things, surfing and space. So I got this uh, Pinterest board here. We're, this is for superheroes um, because our theme for our theme for the uh, um, the final week of the comic book week is going to be superheroes. So I started pulling uh, stuff from that, but I'm going to look up some stuff for Surfer Dude right now. So just anything that I think would be helpful, I'm going to save. I don't want it to that board. So I would just go through and look at things that I think are interesting. Like these things are kind of co colorful. All right, so we do save that for that. Now while I'm doing this, since you guys all have your own characters, go ahead and sketch out something like this, some full body, clean as you can sketch of where your character is right now that you could put something on top of. If your character doesn't wear clothes, um, I kind of think of like the skin markings, like if it's an animal, like the fur is kind of the clothes, like a fursuit. You can think of that. I'm looking at oops, helmets because I need to figure that out. This one has kind of a cool little pack to the side. I'm thinking of um, Surfer Dude's personality too, right? So he, he's like a laid back kind of a guy, kind of like how the stance is. So I'm thinking I need 
some rounder kind of shapes. I don't want a lot of hard angles because hard angles feel more aggressive in nature. Um, if you've been to one of my classes before, things that are triangly and sharp, like this girl's helmet here, they feel more dangerous. And I want to kind of stay away from that look for right now. I want a more like cool, laid back, friendly kind of look as I go through. And I don't think I want a dark helmet either because I want to be able to see his face. This one's kind of neat with the Okay, we have a raised hand. Go ahead and type that in the chat if your mic's not working. Oh yeah, go ahead. Here, I'm gonna stop sharing real quick so we can get that chat. Yeah, if you wanna follow along with your own character, um, you don't have to draw mine. <laughs> I'm going to be working on my character. What if you were, sorry, the question was, what if you were not here for last week's lesson? Um, that's okay. If you, whatever character you can come up with, um, if you want to not focus on costume and want to just focus on the general character, you can do that. Um, if you want to pull up, just a character you know how to draw or like Bugs Bunny or something like that, and then draw like a superhero costume for Bugs Bunny. Um, that would be a good idea too. Okay. There's another question. Does it have to be a superhero suit? No. I picked uh, superheroes because that's what we're going to be gearing up to for the paid camp. It's superhero themed. So it's easy to talk about. I'm going to try to make a split screen so I can show you guys what I'm drawing along with what I'm looking at. Okay, I want to show you my screen. Okay, so I pulled up some spacesuits and then also some wetsuits because I want to combine those two ideas. So what I'm looking at here, these are either baggy and then these are really tight. I can't do both at the same time. So I'm gonna have to go more baggy, but some of these color divisions, I'm gonna try to incorporate back into the spacesuit. So I don't want it to lean too far towards one and not enough towards the other. I wanted to feel like both at the same time. Maybe something like that. This is the closest one. So since this is the closest one to what I'm kind of feeling, I don't even know what this is. I think this is a toy or something. <laughs> I'm gonna look at this and the first thing that I'm going to draw is not going to be what I'm going to stick with probably. That very, very rarely happens. Uh, usually it's a process you kind of have to work through and we want to get as much ideas out as we possibly can 
um, because we can always pull back later. It's easier if you have a bunch of ideas and then you can kind of pare them down until they're more specific than it is to not have enough ideas. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly sketch out over on top of this mannequin of surfer dude that I got. I'm gonna sketch out the general feel of this suit as if he was wearing it. So it's like this big pillow-like thing. I'm not trying to get it exactly. I'm just trying to get the general feel that it's my starting point. I'm drawing it a lot bigger than his body actually is. Yeah, gloves. And I can't really see what the underside of those gloves are look like, so I'm just gonna guess. get the idea of like the bagginess of it. And these huge boots, I really like these boots. So they're nice and wide. And they end up being very big. I'm going to turn down the opacity here. Nice digital trick. If you have a, oops, if you have a light box, it's the same effect. If you put multiple pieces of paper together over on a light box, the light shines through. So you can kind of see a ghost image over on top of what you're drawing on. It's a nice little animation trick. Now it has these two lines. I want to get this color differentiation, the differenti uh, differentiation between the orange and the blue. So I'm going to draw that line going down. And then there's a number kind of like on a jersey. So I'm just gonna sketch that out, just so I know, because I may not keep that. I'm trying to get that idea. And then these boots have a lot of different pieces. Aileen, I think Kira has a question. Yeah. Does your character have to be a surfer? So this character I came up with um, when we did our brainstorming thing um, to go with Marvin. Uh, if you guys weren't here, we started uh, the story idea was Marvin was going to blow up the moon and then like what would happen, what could could uh, interact with him. And so I just real quick came up with this guy. Now, when you're doing yours, you know, it could be whatever you want. It could be, you know, duck dodgers. It could be whatever. Like there's no reason it has to be a surfer dude. That's just kind of what I came up with. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. All right, now this helmet just shows this part of the face. And I'm totally changing the shape because I have a weirdly head-shaped character. And I want to see his whole face. So I'm just going to try to get the idea of that helmet. Kind of sticks out along the ears, kind of like that. And then there's a chin piece. Nice and hard. 
And this little valve thing. The little valves everywhere. So now I'm just picking out, I got the general shape of what this costume is. And now I'm picking out the little details, like little valves and things. And I'm not drawing them super detailed. I'm just picking out the general shape. Is it a rectangle? Is it a circle? And then there's orange band right here. I'm also not worrying about color. Um, I believe color is tomorrow. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that for its own class tomorrow. I'm just worrying about the shape of what I'm drawing. Okay. So I'm gonna pull this off to the side. I'm gonna stop sharing for a little bit so I can make this file bigger. So once I've gotten a couple sketches like that, I decide which concepts I wanna keep uh, and just kind of play, combine them. Um, sometimes you might get like two costumes and try to combine them. Sometimes you'll lean more towards one and uh, you'll lean more towards one and then just take a couple elements from the second one and add those in. It just depends. So I'm gonna make a really long file here. But it all comes back to character. I don't wanna lose the character. All right, I'm gonna share screen one more time. Kat's hand is up. Yeah, there, real quick. So um, I have sort of a question. And so my character I haven't decided if the character necessarily wears clothes or not yet, because it's a butterfly girl character. And I sort of lost my turnaround key. I can't find it. You can't find the drawing? Yes, I know what it looks like. So what well, can you... you... Well, just draw, draw a new one. And it's not going to look okay. exactly the same because it's from memory, but just draw a new one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys some time to share your drawings. I just want to go through, if you've been in my class before, You've probably seen this, but just for anyone um, who is new, the main thing that you're looking at with shape language, you want the shapes that you use to come back to the character's personality. So more circular shapes, they remind us of babies. So they're more cute, innocent characters. We'll use circle shapes. Square shapes, even on all sides. Um, Nailene, sorry, we, we're seeing the Pinterest screen and not. What oh, you're sorry drawing. about that. Ah, try this again. Screen share. Oh, wait, how about now? Um, 
just blank right now. It's just blank right now? Oh, oh okay, there it is. I saw it there. <laughs> when I shut it off. Yeah. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, now we're seeing both. Cool, okay. So circle shapes, they're more cute. Square shapes, sturdy, right? Um, strong, think robots. Robots are often very square. And then triangles, right, sharp. If something has a sharp point, right, and you touch it, it might hurt. So those are used more for villains, um, but also for like smart characters, like crafty characters and things like that. So I want to keep in mind when I'm drawing this guy, if you'll notice he doesn't really have any points. I could have given him a pointy nose like that, but I didn't. I wanted to keep him more like um, soft, right? More circular. So I used more of those shapes, even like the chin. I could have made the chin like pointy. It is a little bit triangular but I rounded off the edges like that to keep it from being that too sharp. Um, so this is something to keep in mind throughout all of character design, not just for costumes. Um, but when I'm drawing my costume, I definitely want to think, stay kind of in this area as opposed to this area. So any points, I'm gonna round it off a little bit to stick with the concept of the character that I have. Okay, um, so we had questions to share some of our drawings. Uh, it's okay that they're in progress because this is all about brainstorming and coming up with different ideas. Um, we're not gonna have finished characters right away. Um, um, but if you want to share, if you have a drawing that you wanna share, go ahead and raise your hands and then we will get to that. Lyra first. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, tell me about this character. I keep forgetting you have to type. I look like a like a cat. We can't hear you. No, I know I can't hear you. Can I go back to you while she types? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna erase all my scribble notes here. And then I'm gonna like sketch out another spacesuit. Oh my God. Did we have anybody else that wanted to share real quick? Okay. No, I don't think so. Cool. Evie says maybe later. Yeah, no, you guys are in progress right now. Maya says she just came up with a random character. That's cool. Random's cool. My, th my thing last week was completely random. <laughs> so I just got to go with it. I'm 
I'm going to let people sketch for a little bit. Here's Nathaniel. I'll show you what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. I was trying to spotlight Nathaniel's screen. He had his hand up. Oh, Nathaniel, cool. Yeah. Hey, Nathaniel. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. It's breaking up a little bit. Sorry, Nathaniel, you were breaking oh. up a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Oh. Did you want to share? Oh. Did you have a drawing you want to share? Oh. Ooh, awesome. Oh, Is that the, the same character that you drew last time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I recognize him from last week. That's awesome. Was anybody else ready to share? Okay. Heather Rose says she needs ideas. How can we help? Um, what was your character last time, Heather Rose? Were you here last time? Oh, for a steampunk boy outfit. Ooh, steampunk. Okay, so if you guys don't know steampunk, um, it's like the uh, Victorian steam era, if that continued. Um, so ba basically, the uh, what the costume usually are is they're Victoria era inspired, and um, they're very like technological oriented. Um, so there's usually a lot of like gears involved in things like that. Um, so I would look, the two things I would look at would be uh, Victorian era costuming and then like steam engine era technology. Um, usually they like combine those. So you could probably even just like look up on Pinterest steampunk, um, but it, it also comes down to what your character would be doing. So I know a lot of times they'll have like those huge goggles um, with the gears all over them and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if they would, the boy would uh, be like a rich character or not or what. Yeah, yeah, top hat, someone mentioned top hat. Uh, any, look up what a Victorian era boy of that age would wear and then um, just add, <laughs> try adding gears to it and things like that and see what you can come up with. Sylvia has her hand raised. That's a fun era. Hi. Hi, Sylvia. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm excited to be here. So I want to share my character. Ooh, Abu. Uh-huh. Okay, so tell us about this character. Let's see. Oh, wow. um, and then I have this one. Oh, nice. But the problem that I have, a lot of time I draw like uh, characters and things, but then I cannot do like the different profiles. I do usually and it's hard for me when it's my own character to really do think about the be able to draw and then three dimensions. Different different um, views. Yeah. yeah, that that takes practice. Um, do you do you know what model sheets are? For um, so for animation, um, they will make model sheets 
Oh, okay. For everything. Um, and they will show the character in different views. So they'll do side view, front view, back view, three quarter view. Um, if there's a show that you like or a style that you like, look up and see if you can find any model sheets and practice on those. Because um, okay. those are just instructional pages on how to draw. So even though it's not your character, it might teach you how to draw. And then, yeah, and then just draw things around you because then that trains your eye to look at things in dimension. Um, so that would help you too. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. No, no problem. Very cool. Did anybody else have any um, questions? Um, can we share some later? Too? What was that? Can we share some later too? Yeah, I want to give you. We still have. We still have twenty minutes, so I'm going to give you guys some time later when these are a little more finished. Kind of show off your drawings. This is what I'm looking at now. I'm not going to use the helmet for sure. Um, because it's dark and I want to be able to see this guy. But I am looking at all the different straps and things on here that I might want to use. There's these giant squares over his knees. And I kind of like the way the pants are. They're a little more square than the last one I did. With that shape variety. Sorry to interrupt. The there was another comment. No worries. Um, Pinterest won't let us use it. Can't use Pinterest? No. Oh, weird. That's okay. Yeah, you have to have, um, you, have to, you have to sign up with like an email address for Pinterest. There's always whatever search engine you use, that works too. You need to do Pinterest because then I could save stuff and come back to it later pretty easily. All right, so this is very messy, right? I'm not trying to do a pretty drawing, just like last time. Not trying to get a perfect, nice drawing out of this. I'm trying to get all my possible ideas out. There's like a tube here. Now I don't want this, um, it's probably like an air unit, something like that. I don't want it on the ground, but I can maybe put it on his back. So I'm just gonna give him the, this backpack thing. And the hose goes up to the top. The pack, these little shapes. Thank you, Ernest. So I'll leave the helmet off of this one. I'm going to start assembling this little like fashion show of different costumes. So looking at these wetsuits, a lot of them, they'll have different colors on the arms or under the arms. So I'm just going to write that down. And draw out this shape. And leave that note for myself. 
this color. And then over here, even though this arm is raised, it kind of looked like that. Okay, we are coming towards the last 15 minutes. So normally I would just keep sketching until I kind of felt like I was getting closer towards the character that I wanted. Um, but I'm gonna stop here and show you guys what I do to combine these. Go away, please. Thank you. Thank you. Can you read? All right, um, I would go in and highlight the different things that I wanna use that I think would be cool. Keeping in mind, I have to simplify it down to this. So I think I like these, this boot shape. I like how big it is, but I kinda like, you know, the squares on the knees and the way that these pants are. So I'll just write different notes to myself I like this is from the wetsuit. It's very wetsuit-like. So I might want to use that color separation there and things like that. So I'll just write different things that I think I would want to use. So maybe be like that instead of the stripe all the way down. Different color like that. And then I would take all my notes and I would try to do a more finished version onto this guy. That's just kind of how the process goes. You figure out, you brainstorm what character you want, what their personality is, um, what their job is, things like that that we did last week. Um, then you would research what kind of costumes that they would be wearing or if it's like an animal or reptile or something like that, like what would their markings be like? What um what would what environment would they live in uh is it cold is it really hot and then you would go and you would do research and pull things from your research and kind of recombine them into a design that you think fits the type of personality that you wanted that you're going from from the start um i don't know about this backpack maybe i'll do maybe not okay i'm gonna stop sharing real quick. Couple hands <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, I figured we had some hands up, so. Let's see, we'll go to Kira first. Can I share mine? Absolutely. All right, can you bring it towards the camera a little bit more so we can see? That's awesome. All right, tell us about this character. Um, I just kind of came up with it. Just kind of came up with it, it's yeah? one of my cats that's sitting down. Oh, that's awesome. I love characters based off pets. Um, so I'm, I'm getting superhero? Yes. Yeah, with the cape and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Need like a cat-powered superhero. superhero. <laughs> yeah. Superhero, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, it's a process. You just got to keep like narrowing it down and figuring it out. But that's a really great concept. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Here's who was next? Tater Tot. Hey, Tater Tot. All right, tell us about this person. He doesn't have a name yet, but he no has some nice blades on chains because this was a concept that I had in my mind for a while and now I finally got around to doing it so yay. All right that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. Here's Kat. Hey Kat. Um, uh, so this is my character so far. He has got mm -hmm. goggles because bug-like eyes 
face look very weird when you draw your character big. Yeah, don't they have like a ton of eyes? Yes, and yeah. then also if you just want to draw them as just this big circle dot, it just looks like they're evil and staring at you no matter how many times you make them extra round. Uh huh. And so this is just like a soft character. She's very concerned about the environment and stuff, but I can't figure out a character for her because she's a butterfly girl. I haven't drawn her in her wings yet. Or anything. Yeah, I remember the wings were a very big part of her character. Yes, they His were. Wings, yeah. So do you or anyone else have any ideas? Um, what what ideas were you looking for? Wing ideas or um, maybe possibly wing ideas. I have a pretty good concept of that, but like costume or yeah. The since it's a butterfly, what I would do is her costume would be kind of plain, but the wings would be really interesting. So you you don't have to have like everything be really flashy. Um, Cause like a butterfly body is just like a black kind of like insect body, but then the wings are, are really colorful and have a lot of shapes in them. So I would make the wings like the focus of the, the costume. So uh, anyway, that's what I would do. I would look up like butterfly wings um, and then things that you like for those. Uh, Tater Todd had a really great suggestion. You could do an open back for the costume to keep some space for the wings. Yeah, I, th I think like like just like a black body costume and then really insane wings would be cool. I like the goggles too. Goggles are a nice idea. Okay, did we have anybody else that had a question or wanted to share? Okay. Evie's gonna share in a minute. I'll give a minute. I'm just going to sketch on mine. And then when we're ready. Yeah, this is a process that just takes time. We don't really stick with the first thing we come up with a lot of the time. We'll let them develop. Maya was asking, does your character really need a costume? Um, kind of, yeah. It, well, depending on what your character is, right? Like, um, I think of, um, so like the Looney Tunes, right? They don't wear clothes most of the time. But the fur is kind of like a costume. So it's like, yeah, yes and no. So you have some characters that certainly won't wear clothes. Um, but they're still designed, so it's kind of like thinking of it like a costume. They still had to decide where, you know, what on um, Bugs Bunny, what part's going to be gray, what part's going to be white. I think Evie's ready to share. Excellent. Hi, Evie. Hello. So here's mine. Awesome. So tell us about this person. Um, so this is Ollie. It's kind of like a um, alien uh -huh. kind of character. Yeah, yeah. I like the antenna. Thank you. Very nice. So she she has a spacesuit as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Very nice. I like the, all the different options you do. Are you leaning more towards one than the others? Or are you still thinking, still um, brainstorming? Kind of like the middle one. The middle one, yeah. But I might add a little more because I feel like, um, let's see, this one, mm -hmm. this one's a bit too clunky. Mm -hmm. I like the, I like the backpack, like the backpack with the big helmet thing. That might work. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. All right. We have more hands. Who was next? I saw a hand, but then it disappeared. Okay. Maybe it was a mistaken hand raise. All right, we have about eight minutes left. So if you have any questions, any shares, anything that you're stuck on. Oh, there's a hand. Cool. Um, here's my picture. Awesome. All right, tell us about this character. Um. I decided I thought of like superheroes and then I decided to draw Wonder Woman like at prom. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is what Wonder Woman wore at prom? Uh-huh. <laughs> I started by making it look like prom to have like disco floor and like, disco ball. Yeah, like, like that you drew the whole um, background. Thank you. That's awesome. That could be fun too, like taking a character that you already know and then putting them in a different situation, be like, what would they wear in that situation? So like, what would Wonder Woman wear to prom? That's, that's a great uh, exercise. You think of stories, characters won't necessarily look the same way throughout the story. They might change, change costumes or, you know, change, change situ situations wherever they, they are in animation if a character like uh goes over a waterfall and gets for that like wet character to see how like their hair gets messed up or their fur gets messed up or whatever everyone looks like they're busily drawing This final version I'm doing is way sketchier than I intended, but that's okay. It's always better to start out sketchy because you can always refine it later. Get his boots right. Well, we have another hand up. Excellent. Is that Laura? Okay, so um, I'm working on one of my characters. Uh huh. And this has a twin. Uh huh. And it's an alien, and it has um, hooves instead of feet, and then it has six fingers on the hands. You can't really see that at the moment, but. Uh huh. Very cool. So uh, she's an alien, she's just from another planet? Yeah. Very nice. I like all those eyes. Thank you. Very nice. Very tall. And here's Kat. So, I'll say I haven't really done much with the costume, but I did do something with the wings just to see. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. My video must have just froze because I went out of the thing by accident. But. No, it's good. I can see it. I like all the swirls. Yeah, yeah. it's very, very different from the last time. Yeah, but I like that idea. Oh, swirlies. Mm -hmm. My inspiration was like waves or cinnamon buns. I haven't decided yet. Okay. Yeah, that's very creative. I like what I like what you came up with. Did we have anybody else that uh, wanted to share? Okay, I'm going to do one last share. So this is what I've got so far. I wanted to add in the like knee pads. Make sure I get those in. But it's kind of a combination of those like wetsuit arms and then the shapes of this one with a lot of the design of this one. So it's like a combine of the two things, but I also don't want it to get too crazy. Um, so I simplified it down a little bit. Um, I like more cartoony styles. Let me pull it up a little bit more. So, you know, it's like, it's getting there. It's a process. Maybe not totally done. I definitely need to figure out this helmet bit. So I like this shape. And I really want to see his face. Maybe more of a circle like that. But that is where I'm at right now. All right, we have a raised hand. Um, eventually I decided I would like to share. It's not much so far. No I'm worries. I'm trying to draw like a despicable version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. But right now I'm like on his head. Mm-hmm. And then later on I might give him like some suit or something to wear. The uh, suit? Yeah. Did you say suit? Oh, okay. That's cool. Never seen Sonic in a suit. <laughs> What color would it be? <laughs> would he go go with a black suit, or would he would he be like bright red or something? I'm thinking of something oh, yeah. like purple. Purple, like, okay. Because okay. yeah, yeah. And like all those hedgehogs. That's unexpected. All right. Ooh, we only have one more minute. Uh, any other last minute shares or last minute questions? I can share. All right, Sylvia. Nice. Okay, so it's a front view of the one you did before. Yeah. Yeah, no, that looks great. That is exactly the same character. All right, so um, I believe Lee is going to be going over color tomorrow. Um, so hang on to these drawings because um, you're going to want to come back to them and think about what kind of color uh, they would be, because that's going to be the focus for tomorrow. Uh, again, that they're, they're um, don't have to be like finished. This is a process. We're still brainstorming and figuring these things out, uh, but that's going to be the focus for tomorrow. So you definitely want to check that out. Um, big derpy round helmet. Yeah, I think it's going to have to end up being uh, a derpy helmet because he's a derpy character. <laughs> it's different ideas that we can come up with. All right, cool. Um, well, if there are no more last minute questions, we are going to sign off. Bye. Bye. Bye, thank you.
Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Scott.